りあと3回間にある通りにただだけ愛愛がないことに気がつかない窒息する前に叫ぼうぜほう Remember? Oh, so that was my fault? If you could handle your ride, it wouldn't have happened. What? I just knew the car in front of me was slow, and I couldn't take following it anymore. I didn't think things up here went that slow, but what are you gonna do? I tried to brake, but I guess I nudged you a bit. Sucks to be you. You wanna say that to me again? Calm down, Ikatani. It's not worth it. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You wanna settle up? We can race under my rules. And if you win, then I'll drop to my freaking knees and beg your forgiveness. What do you mean by your rules? Why would I agree to that? It could be interesting for you. We call it a gum tape death match, and it's one wild ass time, huh? <laughs> <laughs> gum tape what? What the hell is that? I hear the Speed Stars 8-6 is supposed to be a downhill specialist. Tell him I'll be waiting right here for him. He just needs to meet me here next Saturday at 10 o'clock sharp. See you losers then. <laughs> Believe that crap? That punk just challenged you, Takumi. Doesn't know your face, though. Didn't seem like he recognized you. Rip him apart, dude. Gum tape deathmatch? Who gives a crap? Just crush that wannabe into the ground till he's begging for the sweet release of death. It's too risky for him to try. You do realize he won't even be able to steer. Dude, what are you talking about? He beat the 3-2 and the FD, didn't he? This one little rule change won't make a difference. Listen, this guy's been practicing this race style way more than Takumi. I'm telling you, man, it's too much of a risk to take. Don't bite onto this bait. Yeah. Don't worry about that. I don't even know this guy, so why would I want to race him? Good. He's just another loser, and you're best off to ignore him. Gum tape deathmatch? Are you kidding me? No. That's crazy. How's Takami handling the whole thing? Mm, with his usual calm and less than enthusiastic demeanor, almost like it didn't happen. He's not into any of this business. Doesn't even care. Yeah, but I still want him to do it. It'd be awesome for him to crush that guy into powder and make him apologize for being the awful person that he is! He drives a Civic, the historic rival of the Levin and the Chueno. That should be enough! Hmm. You know... Back in my day, we ran races in a lot of different ways, and every guy had his own favorite set of rules and regulations. But we all stayed away from gum tape death matches because we knew how dangerous they were. Is this gum tape thing that bad? It sounds like something in a candy store. It actually sounds like it'd be tasty. Hey, why don't you go hop in your car for a minute? Give it a shot, see what happens. <laughs> okay, now what? Now grab the wheel with your right hand and turn it as far as you can to one side. Just see how far you can get. Cool. <laughs> I don't think it'll go any farther. Leave the wheel sitting where it is now and hop on out. Yeah, all right. I want you to see how far you steered. Pretty far, I bet. <gasps> no way, I turned it as far as I could. What the hell, man? See? How are you supposed to corner with your wheels like this? 
You could forget about taking on the whole mountain pass. The steering's just used to initiate the turn. The turn's completed by sliding the rear tires. Not an easy thing to do. And you do it every corner. What? But Takumi's a drift expert. He can manage. He knows what he's doing more than us. You're oversimplifying the process, man. <laughs> you can't counter, which makes it way harder to control the drift that's next to impossible. If you oversteer the sucker, that means you fly into a spin. But if you understeer into the turn, then you're just freaking history, like boom into the rock face. This rule of his definitely favors the FF over anyone else. This fella drives an EG6? That's right. The accelerator on that car eliminates oversteering so he can attack those corners at full speed. And if he can use the handbrake, that'll cut out the understeering. But the 8.6 needs to drift constantly through a narrow area, like it's walking a tightrope. I'd say you guys are painted into a corner on this one. It's better just to avoid the whole thing. Oh no, talking like this might get him interested in racing this guy. Better clam up. Uh, boss? <sighs> hey, that's Kenji's car, isn't it? Yeah. Ikatani, I did a bit of checking up on that jerk from the other night. You wouldn't believe what I found out. Turns out he's none other than Shingo Shoji of the Miyogi Night Kids. We got another Night Kid on our backs? In their lineup, he's the number two driver. But he's got enough confidence to call himself the fastest downhiller the Night Kids have to offer. He stops at nothing to get what he wants, which doesn't make him the most popular guy with his teammates, especially not with their leader, Takashi. They tend to go for each other's throats. Now it's all coming together. He's challenging us in a bid to knock Takashi off the throne so he can take over his group's leadership. And talk about pressing the issue, he's been spreading rumors about the race all over town. Like what? Something about the Speed Stars being scared, doing everything they can to avoid Shingo's challenge. Of course, he doesn't mention anything about the gum tape. <sighs> Just a crummy effort to make us look as bad as he can. Ugh, I hate that guy! Hmm. He'll do anything to drag Takami into this race. Nothing will stop him. Uh, Takami? Guys, just let it go. Really, I don't want to race this guy. I never have, and I never will. <sighs> That's good, man. You know, there's no posted rule that says you have to accept every challenge thrown your way. You can do what you want. Let him spin his wheels. <laughs> I will. So, whatever came of the whole racing the 8-6 crap? <laughs> I'm ready to roll whenever he is. Ball's in the Speed Stars court now. Don't worry about it, fellas. I'll drag the city it out into the open. Hmm. It'll be a nice beating to watch whenever it happens. <gasps> Takashi! Hey, Shingo. Listen, I get the feeling that you're ramping up for something pretty big. So just do what you want, okay? I can't stop you. Just don't do anything that'll tarnish the name of the Night Kids. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Is something funny to you? I figured you already trashed our good name when you got dusted by the 8-6. What? <laughs> You got this monster 3-2 and you still fell flat on your face in front of that guy. Seriously, your feet broken or something? Shut up. Shouldn't a loser be off crying in a dark corner someplace? Acting like some leader and giving me a lecture. You're what's funny, man. Don't sweat it. I'll avenge you on the mountain, Takashi. You can thank me later. <laughs> One of these days, you're gonna find out just how tough that 8-6 actually is, Shingo. And I hope it's soon. Looks like Takashi hit the rocks. I almost feel bad for the stupid punk. I got no sympathy. He did this to himself. Shingo, you're the new leader of the Night Kids, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Thanks. But before I can think of taking that position on, I gotta send Akina's 8-6 to the scrapyard. Hi there. My name's Itsuki. Can I speak to... Oh, hey, Sorry. How are you? Hi. Glad you called. Yes, of course I remember who you are, silly. Uh, sure. A road trip up to Lake Akina? Hmm. Yeah, I'd love to. Oh, great. I'll meet you at the bus stop at 1 o'clock and we'll go from there. Yeah. I'll see you then. Oh, what? 
it. <laughs> I can't believe it. My years long no girlfriend drought is finally coming to an end. <laughs> I'm back, baby. <laughs> Here you go. Hey, Dad, I got a question for you. Hmm? What is it? Is a gum tape deathmatch a... Uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> Tape death match, huh? Talk to me, you know something? You're a good driver, a very good one. And talk to me, if you hadn't figured it out. I wouldn't mind if you wanted to take me on an overnight trip. I don't know what it is, but I've been thinking about her a whole lot lately. You fella seen huh? Itsuki? Yeah. He was just out here washing his car. I don't see him. Where'd he go? Okay. Okay. That makes sense. There you are. <laughs> so this is where you've been hiding all day, huh? No, I wasn't hiding. I was resting. I didn't get much sleep last night. So, what you reading? Let's take a look. Give it back. It's nothing. It's just My a... goodness, look at this. Love manual. How to impress your date. Come on, I was just looking at the pictures. Be straight with me. The reason you're reading this is because you got a date? You can tell me. Yes? Ah, come here, goofball. Is it that sorry chick you were talking about before? What about me? You couldn't ask for my advice? Sorry. I grabbed the book yesterday. I just want the date to go smoothly, so I've been studying. Besides, why would I come to you for advice about women? You might be right about that, dude, but it still hurts to hear it. No! Things seem to be a lot easier nowadays. When I was young, it was nothing but trial and lots and lots of error. Let's see. You should have her eating out of your hand by the third date. If not, repeat steps two and three. Step two, create a romantic setting for your first kiss. Yeah. Don't worry, boss. I got that covered. And so... Like I mentioned to you before, I'd like a day off this weekend, if that's okay by you. Oh, that's why you want time off. Then, sure. You know, Itsuki, I'm a little jealous. <laughs> I look so freaking cool. This is gonna be awesome. Wait, where is she? Itsuki, I'm right over here. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> this is going to be so fun. Thanks for coming. Uh. I don't need any gas, Grease Monkey. I just stopped by to get an answer to my challenge invitation. You did pass along my message, didn't you? Uh, yeah, but he said he didn't want to race you. Wasn't interested in it. Uh, that's hilarious if it's true. I didn't realize this 8'6 dude was such a giant coward. He can't be scared of a little gum tape, can he? Forget it. I'll make sure he wants to come out and race me. Man! <laughs> 
she's so cute. Since we're street racers, we usually don't talk about turning a corner. We like to say attacking the corner. Huh. Maybe I should get my driver's license. Sure. I could teach you to drive if you want me to. <laughs> Give me some time to think about that one. Huh? Wow. Mount Fuji. It's so beautiful from here. Girls are such suckers for this romance thing. And the book said the first kiss should always be at a romantic setting. Check and check. The first kiss. <laughs> Now's the perfect time. Go for it, Itsuki! I'm sorry. Perfect. Awkward silence. What now? The book didn't say anything about this. Cool vibrations. <laughs> Found you. <laughs> He just bump me. And he's in an EG6. What am I going too slow for him or something? <laughs> he's right on my tail. I can't look bad in front of Saori. I gotta do something. Saori, huh? I'm gonna have to speed up. You probably wanna hold on to something. Protect Saori no matter what! <laughs> oh. 
Boys, I just got a phone call. Itsuki's had an accident. Huh? Where? Akina Pass. They're over at the city hospital. Can you guys head over there and make sure he's okay? Sure. Yeah. Itsuki, are you okay? Hey, Hikitani. Takumi. So, what happened up there? No, it isn't as bad as it looks. They're just keeping me here for some tests. You know, they want to make sure everything's cool, like my stitches don't pop out or my head doesn't explode. What about Saori? Wasn't she in the car, too? Yeah, but she only had a couple of cuts and bruises on her, so they sent her home. I tried my best to pull the wheel to protect the passenger side when we wrecked. And your Levin? How did that thing hold up? I actually spun the thing pretty well, so it looks like the trunk area took the brunt of the damage. There we go. Now get some rest. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I was headed down the pass. Then it happened. This EG6 started tailgating me. An EG6? Huh? Was it who I think it was? Maybe. Same make, model, and color anyway. He pumped me from behind right before a corner. I can't believe that bastard did it to us again. <laughs> I'll do it. <gasps> Gum tape, deathmatch, or whatever. I don't care. I'm taking him on. Talk to me. Hold up. Wait! <laughs> Crap, I'm sorry. Don't let him drag you in. This whole thing is just a sorry excuse for racing. Don't fall for it. If it's a trap, fine. But there's no way he's getting away with this. Hey, Shingo, don't you think it was wrong of you to drag Itsuki into this and make him spin out like that? Hey, I don't give a crap about anything, as long as I drag the 8-6 out to race. Yeah, but... Look, look, I know without a doubt I'm gonna beat him with the gum tape rules. But winning alone isn't enough for me, you know. I need to put on a show. That's just the kind of guy I am. Next time on Initial D, Evolving Drift. I'm gonna get that kid on the downhill and show him what fear is. Don't miss it!